Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing how to make a third person controller a Godot 4. Before we get started, I have a simple level setup with just a wall, a ramp, and a floor. They all have collisions, and I also have a world environment setup. Now, it's going to create a character body 3D. We could just call this player. In here, we need a few things. To start, let's create a mesh instance. We can put this as a capsule for now. Let's drag it up. I'm going to apply a material to it. And we could just call this body mesh. So let's create a collision for that mesh. So a collision shape 3D. I'm going to click capsule. Drag it up. It needs to be slightly bigger than our mesh due to the camera that we're going to be setting up in a little bit. And so that we know which direction our character is facing, I have gone ahead and added two eyes in the front. Let's go ahead now, create a new node 3D. This will be our camera origin. Let's go and set this to kind of the top of the head here, right around here. Let's now go ahead and create a new node called a spring arm. Let's go ahead and set the spring length to about two and a margin to 0.5. In a bit, this will help our camera collide with the ground and not clip through walls and go closer to our player when we are colliding with other objects. So now let's attach a camera 3D to our spring arm. Let's go ahead and drag it out to be at the end of our spring arm. And now let's go ahead and set up our input map. So head over to input map. Here I have a left, right, up, down, and a quit. This is W, A, S, N, D, and escape. Please copy these in, or if you already have them, you can use them. Now on our player, let's create a new script. Let's go ahead and control click on our camera origin to here. Let's rename this to pivot. In our ready function, we're going to go ahead and set the input dot mouse mode to input that mouse mode captured. This will capture our mouse into the window. So that way you can't go outside of it. Let's also quickly create a new export variable called sensitivity. I'll set this to 0 0.5 for now. And in our physics process, let's create a quick check. If input dot is action just pressed our quit function. So that way we can escape. We will get tree dot quit. And now let's go ahead and create a new function called input event. If the event is input event mouse motion for the y axis, we will be rotating the entire character. So rotate y degrees to radians and we'll pass in the negative event dot relative dot x times sensitivity. And for the up and down, we will rotate just the camera. So pivot dot rotate x degrees to radians. And this will be the negative event dot relative dot y times sensitivity. And to make sure that the camera doesn't go over the player when we keep rotating, we will set the pivot dot rotation dot x to a clamp pivot dot rotation dot x degrees to radians to negative 90 and degrees to radians 45 degrees. So now if we press play, we can freely look around and you can see when we rotate the Y, our entire character will move. We will collide with the ground and if I look all the way up, it will clamp to the top of the character. And since we have this pre-built character script, we just have to swap out our inputs for our left, right, up, and down to the ones that we have mapped previously. So I will just delete the UI underscore. And now if I press play, I can walk around, I can walk up the ramp, and if I walk to the wall and I try to look behind it, I will clip through the wall to see the player. And obviously, if you want to ever change the distance of your camera, you can just change the spring arm length. Anyways, guys, I will be putting this into a GitHub, which will be linked in the description down below. If you do questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.